there's something special about these two endpoints of this integral. The Putnam competition no, has nice been going on for over 70 years. Here. It's a mathematical it's competition right at the undergraduate course, level for students from here. Canada and the United States. There are over 400 different institutions that take part. What makes these problems different is that they require really thinking outside of the box, minus an ingenious, a creative approach to solving them. They're not routine. They're not like something you ever saw in your classes. They're a whole different level of problem. A lot of the math course first year, second year, they're kind of boring, and then it's just a process, it's robotic. But this test actually introduced like, some of the questions, and you actually need to think about it. You actually need to know the structure of the problem, of the, the math behind it. Another part that's challenging is that the answer, unlike many other math problems, is not just a number. An answer is almost always a proof. You need to justify your answer. You need to show why something is true. We've been running the Putnam Mathematical Competition at this campus for quite a number of years now. I've been organizing it. I've got about anywhere from half a dozen to a dozen students each year who participate and write the contest. The reason I'm doing this is because I used to write the Putnam Mathematical Contest many years ago when I was an undergraduate, and it was really the highlight of my undergraduate experience. You have to be doing this for the fun of it. You have to love math. There are monetary prizes at the very top level, but it's extraordinarily hard to get those. If you actually do very good in a test, then you are guaranteed almost into a very good graduate school. When I was an undergraduate, I wrote this contest every year. I had been doing contests in high school, so I wanted to continue when I was at university as well, and this was my opportunity. And I was pretty lucky and, and fortunate because of my experience with math contests. I was able to do reasonably well. I think my highest mark out of 120 was in the 40s. But it was good enough to get me on a few lists at least. And although I never won any prizes or anything, I, I did get contacted by Microsoft. And I was actually able to work for them as a summer intern one summer. So that was a good opportunity as well. This contest is challenging partly because of the length of the contest. It's all day and there are only a total of 12 questions. So you're working on six questions in a three hour block. Each question's worth 10 marks. So you do the math, that's 120 marks total. And m about half the students get about zero usually on this contest. For me, I would try to do all the questions if possible. I don't think that's a lot of pressure though because if you enjoy it and you understand it's not because you can't really do the problems because you, you need more practice and you need to familiarize yourself with math. The main thing I'm looking for is people with previous contest experience. Even if they've had a, taken a lot of classes or if they get A's and A pluses, that doesn't necessarily mean they can answer a single question correctly. But usually if they've had some experience with how to approach a contest problem, how to think about what the solution might look like and how to formulate a well-written proof, then, then they probably have a better and chance so than most. <laughs> this angle plus this angle is also 180. Then, as Edward said, these.